Hello everyone, I'm Naveen Agarwal and I'm so excited to offer you a free template for a PHA. A PHA stands for Preliminary Hazard Analysis. And those of us who have been involved in the medical device industry doing risk management for many, many years, we understand that doing hazard analysis for a complicated medical device can be challenging, especially if you are used to using an FMEA or a failure modes and effects analysis method as the only tool for risk analysis of your medical device. So as a result, I have designed this template based on years of industry experience and knowledge of the challenges and difficulties people face and a solid understanding of the requirements of ISO 14971. Now the best part of this template is that it's not applicable just in the beginning of your design and development process, but it grows with you as you develop the product and delivers you at the end a final output, complete risk assessment for your risk management file. So it's all in one place. It is a modular form and you don't have to do everything at once. You start with section one, which were what I call master table. And that is because it's a simple mapping of hazards, hazardous situations, harms, and their severity levels pertinent to your medical device. Now it's a master table because once you build it, you can use it over and over again for similar types of devices, which are probably legacy products or new products that you plan to develop based on those legacy products. You don't have to start from scratch. The second section is what I call a product specific PHA. This is where you will specifically identify the planned risk controls for each one of those line items in your master table. And you might have hundreds of line items, but you will specify product specific planned controls and estimated risk level. Then the third section will be where you can indicate actually implemented controls and evidence of their effectiveness, residual risk level, acceptability, benefit risk, and any other required information that you must include as part of your risk assessment. So it'll grow along with the entire development cycle and everything will be all in one place. Now, that's not all. If you sign up using the link below that I'll give you as part of this video, download the free template. I will also give you a video which will provide step-by-step -step directions on how to use this template with illustrative examples. And that's not all, because I also send you links to videos that share some of my best practices and tips, helping you link hazards to hazardous situations and harms, and to avoid one common mistake that people make all the time when they do risk analysis. So you'll get all that. So follow this link below and sign up, and you can download this free template and start using it right away. I hope you will find this useful, but let me know if you have any comments or questions or even suggestions for improvement. Leave a comment below or engage with me on LinkedIn and have a discussion there. I wish you all the best in your risk analysis.